Hi, and welcome to this section of the Unit Conversion Tutor. And here we're going to actually change gears a little bit from what we've done in the last few sections where we've done with, uh, dealt with length, and of course area was length squared, and volume was length cubed. So we're really only dealing with length in the last three sections, even though they looked a little bit different from one another, okay? Here we're going to start to talk about speed, or you can also think of it as velocity. It's really the same thing in, in this section, okay? Uh, we all have a good idea what speed is, okay? When you're going down the road, you're going a certain speed. You may be going somewhere very quickly or you may be going somewhere very slowly. Uh, the bigger, or the faster your speed, then obviously you're going to get there quicker and, and the slower you're going, you're not, going to, you're not going to get there as quickly, okay? So the units of speed here in the U.S are going to be miles per hour, okay? Over in other places it might be kilometers per hour. But you can express speed in any number of units uh, depending on what you're, you're talking about. If you're talking about the speed of a rifle bullet, it's not going to make any sense to talk about it in terms of miles per hour. Because a rifle bullet goes very fast. Um, and so you might, it, it, it might be much more, um, uh, make much more sense to talk about maybe miles per second or maybe meters per second or yards per second or something like that because it's traveling so incredibly fast that if you start talking about miles per hour it's just it's just not gonna you know really work okay um, and when you're talking about space probes going way out in the solar system really really fast going out of the earth's gravity those things are going incredibly fast so it's again it's not gonna make too much sense when you start talking about 25,000 miles per hour who who among us know what 25,000 miles per hour is but if I tell you that it's maybe 10 miles per second you can kinda fathom that 10 miles every second. Oh my goodness, that's really fast, okay? So you can get a better sense of it. So the units really help you figure out what you're talking about and they're very, very important for that reason, okay? So when you go back into your physics or your, um, uh, I guess your science classes, you're gonna learn that 